Not a gun barrel. The reason behind doing something like this is if you sight it in your scope on a hot day like today and take it out of shooting later on on a cold day, the wood will actually either contract or expand with the weather and with the humidity and the air and temperature, and it'll actually put pressure on your barrel, pushing your barrel, you know, off one way. That way, your barrel isn't zeroed to your scope. The way you eliminate this is you basically take the wood out of the stock to where it's not touching your barrel at all. I'm going to show you how to get the barrel to where you can take two dollar bills and simply run along down. That will ensure that your barrel is not touching your stock whatsoever. Okay, check your rifle to see if the barrel needs free floating. What you do is you take a piece of paper, in this case just a little receipt, and see if it will go under the barrel at all. And anywhere that doesn't go under the barrel, that's where you have contact with the stock. So that's going to need to be sanded away. So I'm pretty much going to have to sand the entire way down this barrel. Okay, the first thing you need to do when you're preparing to float your barrel is get a screwdriver and whatever other tools you need and remove the barrel on action from the stock itself on the Marlin 925 you remove this screw these two and these two and it'll pop right out okay I want to note that if you have a bipod on your rifle you may want to keep that on because it will make it easier because it will actually hold up the stock whenever you uh, float the barrel. Okay, the next thing you want to do is take a piece of 150 grit sandpaper and go ahead and roll it up. Now I do want to note that you may want to use 100 grit to start with and then finish off with 150 but I just like to use 150 throughout the entire process because you know that will you know it'll make it more tedious but it'll also slow me down and you know I won't you know cut too much wood out okay what you want to do now it's real simple just take a piece of 150 grit sandpaper and just slowly sand off uh, the wood starting at the front of the barrel going all the way to the back of the barrel channel Okay, now that I got the stock sanded down some on the front, what I want to do is shape the cavity itself. What I've found best to do that is, you know, just simple CO2 cartridge with some sandpaper wrapped around it. And I want to start in front of about, I'm going to say about a half inch in front of the hole where the first bolt goes in to hold the barrel in place. I'm going to start in front of that and work my way out to shape the channel and get it even as possible. Okay, now that I got it shaped out, I'm going to test it out. Okay, to test it out, make sure it's right. You got to take all the screws that hold the stock to the barrel and put them in place. What I like to do is start from the very back and work my way forward. Okay, so you've already put the barrel on and you're happy with the way it's floating and it's floating completely all the way down the barrel. What do you do now? Well, the next thing you do is you want to take it outside. The reason you want to take it outside is you're going to have to seal off everywhere that you sent it. So just take the barrel off, set it up somewhere, then come outside with the stock. And you want to get some kind of 
old base polyurethane. In this case, I'm using Midwax fast drying polyurethane. And just because it's, you know, I've had a lot of good luck with it, you know, in the projects I've done. And what you want to do is you want to shake it good for about three minutes. You know, just to get everything, you know, mixed in real well. And then you want to actually take a putty knife or a nail or something and pop the lid on it. Just like that. Make sure that it's mixed up real good. Then you want to take a clean little artist brush, just dip it in, and very carefully just put a coat on everywhere you send it. Well, there you go. That's how to float the barrel out on a Marlin 925. It's a pretty good little project, you know, as a first project or second project on your rifle. And, you know, it'll lead on to bigger and better things if you keep with it. Uh, as for my Marlin, I've got a whole lot more modifications I'm going to show you later on whenever I do the review. But, you know, just take your time whenever you're doing this, you know, because any wood you take off, it can't be put back on. But, you know, otherwise, just. You know, just be patient and do everything right, and you'll have a pretty good stock on your hands after that. But I'm fixing to get out here and start shooting some more, and I'll see you all around.